Since uh, 1975, Lebanon has witnessed a succession of wars that uh, have involved uh, a range of actors, internal, regional, and international ones. And during this succession of conflicts, uh, thousands of people disappeared as a result of uh, abductions uh, due to their uh, political or religious affiliation or as a result of other crimes such as mass killings or uh, enforced displacements. And during uh, these crimes, many people uh, went missing. Uh, in 1982, uh, the families uh, of uh, many of uh, these missing uh, started to, to gather and to mobilize and they form uh, the committee of the families of the missing and abducted in Lebanon. And they continued their uh, mobilization and their campaign asking for the truth about what happened to their beloved ones. Uh, it was very difficult for them uh, during uh, the war uh, to uh, get recognition from uh, the different uh, uh, forces and the different sides during the conflict and they had to face all sorts of uh, uh, harassment, intimidation and violations themselves. But then the situation, once uh, the, the war was over in 1990, wasn't much better. Uh, an amnesty law was adopted in 1991. Uh, it focused on the perpetrators. Uh, it uh, granted them blanket amnesty, but it completely ignored uh, the victims and did not take uh, or uh, did not provide for any measure to address their rights, including uh, the right to know uh, for the families of the disappeared in, in Lebanon. They, the, the families, continued their struggle. Uh, they obtained in uh, 2000 uh, the uh, formation of a commission to investigate and determine the fate of uh, those who disappeared. Unfortunately, uh, the results of uh, this, uh, the work of this commission uh, were not credible at all. In uh, two and a half uh, pages report, it just stated that they all uh, they, they were all dead without really showing that they did any serious investigation. Uh, two other commissions were formed afterwards, I mean, as a result also of uh, the continuing struggle of the, the families, but unfortunately the result was similar. So their struggle and their campaign uh, has continued and is still going on uh, today. The response to a request from two uh, groups of uh, families, uh, two NGOs, uh, the Committee of the Families of the Abducted and Disappeared in Lebanon and uh, the Committee to Support uh, the, the Lebanese in Detention or in, in Exile, SOLID, uh, the International Center for Transition and Justice uh, did support them to prepare a law uh, that uh, would address the problem of the disappeared. It would uh, establish a commission uh, that would investigate what happened. Uh, it also uh, provides for mechanisms to open mass graves, identify human remains, uh, and return them to uh, their, their families. Of course, uh, addressing the problem uh, of the disappeared uh, in Lebanon will not solve all the, the problems that were left by the succession of wars that the country has witnessed since 1975, but it will uh, contribute actually to uh, unveil the truth about uh, a very uh, serious crime that took place during the conflict. Uh, and this should open the door, actually, uh, to other measures 
uh, to be taken in order to address the broader legacy of, of the conflict and other crimes committed during the conflict. And this includes very serious or includes mass killings, it includes enforced displacement, it includes political uh, assassinations. So we hope that this will constitute uh, uh, an opening. Uh, it will be the first step towards addressing the broader legacy of, of the Lebanese conflict.